Hi, I am Dr. Banerjee, head of the shoulder and upper limb division, Sakra World Hospital, Bangalore. Frozen shoulder or stiffness of shoulder joint is one of the most commonly diagnosed shoulder ailment. So generally it is over diagnosed rather than the proper diagnosis because any shoulder problem will be labeled as frozen shoulder, that's not the reality. Even though the shoulder, frozen shoulder is quite a common condition, so typically it presents with pain initially to begin with and then progresses to stiffness along with pain and over a period of time the pain will resolve and the stiffness remains. So during this phase, patient will have a lot of suffering because of the pain and stiffness in both. There are several causes of frozen shoulder. Frozen shoulder or adhesive capsulitis can be an inflammatory condition. It can be associated with other medical disorders like diabetes, hyperthyroidism and some of the malignancies. And most commonly it can be idiopathic without any obvious reasons. So frozen shoulder can also be associated with any injury surrounding the shoulder joint in terms of physical trauma or surgical intervention or after fractures. So generally the frozen shoulders are managed with medicines, physical therapy and if it results with that most of the time patient does not need anything apart from this. So physical therapy can be very painful during the active phase and over a period of time as the inflammation subsides the pain might also come down. But many patients may not be able to tolerate the pain. Very rarely we do suggest the patients with frozen shoulder for an endoscopic release to bring down the pain and to release the frozen or fibrous capsule so that we stop the disease process which usually lasts from six months to one and a half years. So by intervening at the earliest what you can do is you can cut short the inflammation, you can cut short the disease progress and you can relieve the pain and you can get back the moments at the earliest that is called uh, arthroscopic frozen shoulder release or adhesiolysis of the shoulder. 